God didn't make all of us the same. That would be boring, wouldn't it? If everybody looked the same, everybody sounded the same, no distinction between people. But God made us different on purpose. And we can't understand the difference, look back at our purpose. We need one another. I used to pride myself on trying to do everything by myself. People would ask, can I help you? No, no, I've got it, I've got it. Is that, is that me only, Justin? We do solo, we, we do it ourselves. You know, willing to help, but we, do you need help? No, no, I've got it, I've got it. You're trying to carry all this stuff, and I've got it. As we grow together and become more, we become more one. As you, a uh, married couple, you become one. You start off being two individuals, and soon you become that, that one. That's ultimately what God wants us all to be, that oneness. If when one person has a need, you also have a need. One person is rejoicing, we all are rejoicing. Here's something I found out, the measure of the health of an individual goes back to the heart. The measure of your health goes back to your heart. When your heart is healthy and strong, it's a measure of your health because everything affects your heart. Your emotions affect your heart. Stress affects your heart. Your diet affects your heart. Your lack of activity affects your heart. Everything affects the heart. So when the heart is healthy, that means that things that you're doing, happening in your life, are healthy. And the heart affects everything that you do. When you put your heart into something, it's gonna work. When your heart is into something, there's no way it cannot work if, if, you, if you love with all of your heart. But whenever our hearts become affected, we become jaded. We become insincere, hard-hearted. Those things affect everything around us. A bad attitude comes out of a bad heart. Broken marriages comes out of broken hearts. Somewhere we've got to look back at finding out how do we mend that brokenness within us. Because if you've broken on the inside, things around you will be broken on the outside. It goes back to our hearts. That's why the Bible says to guard your hearts with all diligence. That's the heart of the church.